you can calculate integrals on your calculator in several different ways, or at least two different ways. Um, and I'm going to show you here the way to do it in menu one, the run matrix menu. So we'll press one to choose that menu option. And to do this, you need to go into the options menu. So that's the button OPTN below F2. So if you just press options, you get a menu appears at the bottom and we're going to do calc, which in this case is short for calculus. So press F4 for calc and you'll see we get a lot of calculus looking symbols there. Um, and you have one that's the integral sign again on F4. So we'll press that and it presents us with an integral looking um, thing uh, which, which we can now fill in. So we'll fill in the um, calculation we just did, which was x squared minus x plus 1. And then we need to put our limits in. So let's go back to the limits. It was a limit of 3 at the top. And we're using the cursor pad to control our uh, to move around here and one at the bottom so that was the problem we had notice we don't need to put the parentheses the brackets in um, that was the answer we had and if we press exe there we go 20 over 3 if you're not sure what that is and um, press the sd button and you get it in decimal format there you go 6.6 .6 recurring the seven at the end is because the calculator's rounded up from the last six off the screen to make it a seven so that's the quick way of doing an integration uh, on your calculator and if you use that method you have the answer you have the result which you can then use um, to perform subsequent calculations you can store it in the memory um, and you've got it available to you for any other calculations needed in the question